Hey everyone, welcome. Two weeks ago I did a video about this Deepcool Gamerstorm Captain 240 EX RGB. Um, an unboxing, installation of this water cooling all in one solution. And in that video I upgraded my CPU as well. Um, at that time I was running on the Ryzen 7 1700 and I upgraded it to the Ryzen 7 2700X. In that video things didn't go so well um, because the new Ryzen 2700X was in there for about 30 minutes and then it started dying on me uh, as you can see in the video now. So um, actually a few days ago I received a new one. Um, in the meanwhile we did the benchmarking with another 2700X so um, we're going to cover those benchmarks in this video. As I said I only upgraded the CPU in my system so I'm still running on this motherboard. It's the AX370 uh, Gaming K5 series and this one has the X370 chipset. So the older chipset so I'm not going to benchmark on an X470 board. Not for this moment, at least. And the RAM that is used in these benchmarks is from Crucial, and, and those are the Ballistic Series 2400 MHz, 2 times 8 GB. So, um, without further ado, let's get started with the benchmarks. I ran some synthetic benchmarks as well as some video rendering for the comparison, and we did some game benchmarks. And let's have a look at them right now. So those were the benchmarks and as expected the 2700X performs really well, um, especially uh, compared to the 1700 which wasn't the high-end model at the time. Um, we managed to pull two minutes of the whole video render time and with the synthetic benchmarks it beats the 1700 almost with every test. So as for the game performance I wasn't that impressed. Uh, I had hope for higher frame rates, overall average higher frame rates. but it could be due to the memory I've used in the system. It's only 2400 MHz RAM. I uh, used it on the 1700, so for that we use it with the 2700X as well. And the motherboard uses the older chipset, the X370. I expect to get better frame rates with maybe the X470 board, but definitely with some higher RAM speeds. Um, overall, the average frame rate was a little bit higher, and with some games like Tomb Raider, um, the overall performance was definitely better. We also tested the Wraith Prism Cooler and as you can see now we tested it with Prime95, uh, ran it for half an hour uh, on stress testing so um, to get the maximum heat of our CPU 
and it hold up very well. Temperatures didn't get that high, um, also not on the VRMs. Then we did the same test with the Captain 240 EX RGB and because it doesn't have any airflow on the motherboard, um, the temps of the VRMs um, got really high. At some points even close to 100 degrees. 98 degrees Celsius at tops, so that's really hot. Now, this motherboard, the AX370, doesn't have the best VRM design and the heat sinks on the motherboard, well, they are more for show than performance. So for fun, I did put a 60 mm fan on top of the VRMs and uh, managed to get the temperature on the VRM stable at 85 degrees. So airflow does have a significant impact on this motherboard. If you're planning on buying a 2700X, the Brave Prism cooler that comes included is a really good cooler. Especially if you don't want to spend the money on a aftermarket cooler like this one. I strongly would suggest to go with some faster RAM and if you can with a X470 motherboard. As for the benchmarks, the frame times, the temperatures, etc. I will put a link in the video description on where to find them. With that, I will conclude this video. If you have any comments, suggestions, maybe some advice, please leave them down in the comment section. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!